Second track from Blunderbuss is pretty fun to play. It's called 16 Saltines. And it's real easy, so just pull up the tab here if you want to learn it. Um, so real quick, what I do before I learn anything, if there is a tab, you just scan it real fast. You kind of look at what the chords are. So if you look at the intro verses, it's a E5, G5, A5, B5. Then we can see we're going to go to C5, D5. And there's going to be like a little riff. And then he's going to go strum a B5. So pull this up and look at it, because it's kind of a trick to learn stuff faster if the tab exists. Then you got to do a little solo, so there's going to be some notes. And then if you've listened to it already, you know there's more of a solo, so we got to figure that out. And that's really it. That's the whole song. So here's how you do it. Hopefully this will help people who are trying to learn it. Um, what you're going to do is... If I can... There we go. So you're going to start out E5. A5. So E5 to G5. So E5 is 0, 2, 2. G5 is 3, 5, 5. A5 is 0, 2, 2. Make sure you don't hit the E string. B5. So. You do that for a while, then you strum a little faster on C5. Then you go slide it up. That's 3, 5, 5. C5, you slide it up to 5, 7, 7. D5. So the whole thing should be like... You do that for a while, then. And after that, um, there's a cool riff. Like, my favorite thing about this song is just the... And he has, like, a wah pedal. Like, that's why it has this kind of weird tone on it. Like, if you start messing around with the wah pedal, which I have that setting on my amp, but I don't actually own a wah pedal right now. But if you kind of mess around with the settings, you get this kind of tone. And then in the background, the organ's going, so it sounds real cool, but it's just 0, 3. 0, 0. And then 0, 3, 0, 2. So I'm going to name the notes, because one thing when you're learning easy songs, it's good to try to get more out of it and learn what the notes are. So E, G. Then you go up to the D string, so D. Then you hit A. Then A, G. Then D, E. So E, G, D, A. A, G, D, E. After that, we do the solo. So you go up to B5, or you could do it down here, but you might as well do it up here so you're closer to where you need to be. This is B5799, it's the same as 244 down here. So it should sound like this 555 I only hear two eights, but I'll show you what I'm actually hearing in a second. Five, five, it's three sevens, ten, ten. So. What I think he's doing is this note A is the same as A on the tenth fret on the B string. I think he's going. I think there's a slide which would explain why this tab has some of these notes three times instead of twice. So like five, 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 eight, eight, slide. So two tens, seven, seven, three, three sevens, then ten, ten, then slide to twelve. So. After that, he starts just soloing and. Normally with Jack White solos, I don't bother to try to figure out exact. Partly because I don't think he's... Partly because that's hard to do, and partly I don't think he's, like, thinking like that. I think he's just going and has his own style. So, what I'm hearing, though, is kind of like these notes. Or you could do it... I would do it like this. 12 with your ring finger on 15. And you could start going to 17. 
And then he ends up going up here to 18, 15, and 17 with your middle finger on the B string. So it's like these two notes, 15 and 12. You can go to 15 down here. That's why I say you can go down to 10. So this is 15 on the B string. You can go to this little pattern, which is 17, 15, 17. And then you can start going to 18, 15, 17. And he ends the solo on this note. So just try to play along and start to kind of, the more you do it, you start to get the feel of it. Uh, it's definitely just pentatonic. Um, so yeah, it's an E minor pentatonic, which makes sense because we're kind of in the key of E here. So anyways, it's a pretty fun song. It's easy, and that riff, the, the riff, like, where he has the wah pedal sound is real fun to do. Yikes. So like that's the kind of stuff I like to steal from bands I like, just simple little riffs. Just keep playing them so you kind of absorb it into your own playing. So I hope this helps people who are trying to learn some tracks from Wonderbus. Bye.